Hi, this is Lisa Somerville with Divinity Designs. Today I'm here to share with you the Neighborhood Christmas Card Kit. You'll use the products in this kit to create this card. First, I'm going to go over the products that you're going to receive in the Neighborhood Christmas Card Kit. You have the Christmas Card versus Stamp Set. This is a set of seven stamps. These can be used on both the outside and the inside of your cards. The neighborhood border die. You'll die cut and emboss this die following the directions for your die cutting machine. Anytime you see two shades of purple on our packaging or the web images, that indicates that you should emboss the die to bring out the detail of the die. Cloud borders, a set of three dies. Curvy slopes, a set of two dies. And before I move on to show you the rest of the dies included in the Neighborhood Christmas Card Kit, I do want to let you know that the curvy slopes, cloud borders, and neighborhood border dies do not have a die cut edge at the bottom of the dies. This is so that when you die cut, you can make these as wide as you'd like. The other dies included in this kit are the tree silhouettes, a set of three dies, the pierced frame, and the snowflake dies. The snowflake dies contain six dies. Also included in this kit are the snowflake paper shown here. You'll receive 25 of each of these six by six paper patterns. Not included in this kit is white cardstock, red ink, or any adhesive. Additional add-on products would be the A2 Landscape Base with Layer Die Set. This is a set of two dies that will die cut and score your cardstock to create an A2 sized card base that is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. The layer is four by five and a quarter. I'll also be using some of the crystal rhinestones to embellish my card. You're going to need white cardstock to die cut the trees, the neighborhood border, the curvy slopes, and also your card base. For my card base, I'm using the A2 Landscape card base with layer die set. On one of the pieces of white cardstock, I've gone ahead and cut out the neighborhood border, one of the curvy slopes, some of the snowflakes, and the trees. The neighborhood border and curvy slopes border after die cut are going to be trimmed so that they fit behind the pierced frame panel. On the other piece of white cardstock, I used one of the sentiments from Christmas Card Verses and stamped it with a stamp positioner in red ink. Then place that cloud border die on the white cardstock. Use removable tape to hold that die in place. Then die cut and emboss following the directions for your die cutting machine. You can then trim that panel so that it's the same size as the pierced frame that's included in this card kit so that when it's added to your card it's the same size. For my sample I'm actually going to place that cloud border die behind the pierced frame. Die cut the frame from the 6 by 6 snowflake paper. When this frame die cuts you're going to have the frame and then the center that you can use for another project. Using the layer die from the A2 Landscape card base with layer die set, I die cut the other snowflake paper. Now that all my pieces are stamped, die cut, and embossed, we can go ahead and assemble the card. Turn the pierced frame die cut panel over and then apply a thin strip of adhesive or score tape to the top panel. This is where you're going to adhere the cloud border die cut. Again, I'm going to put mine behind the frame. If you'd like to adhere it on top of the frame, you'll apply your adhesive to the top of the die cut frame panel. You can set that aside. Next, we're going to build our scene using the neighborhood border and one of the curvy slopes. Adhere the curvy slopes die cut panel to the neighborhood border die cut panel. When you die cut your border dies, you're going to make sure that they're five and a half inches long. 
They are going to get layered underneath the pierced frame. You can apply adhesive to the bottom of this die cut panel and then adhere to the back side of the pierced frame. So that way the scene shows through the window. You can then apply adhesive to the back side of this panel and adhere it to the snowflake die cut panel. I'm going to pop mine up using Expressa tape and then remove the backing from the Expressa tape if you're using that and adhere to the snowflake die cut panel. You can now add that to your A2 card base. The pierced frame die cut is the same size as the A2 card base, so it's going to completely cover that card. Now you're ready to finish embellishing your card using the tree silhouette die cuts and the snowflake die cuts. Add your adhesive to the back of the die cuts and then place them on your card. I'm going to be adding a little bit of bling to my card using the crystal rhinestones. Again, you can see you can use the cloud border on top of the pierced frame, or you can place it under the pierced frame. For more inspiration using our products, like us on Facebook, follow us on Pinterest and Instagram, or visit our samples gallery.